Main menus and start screens are something we can see commonly used among popular Roblox games. And I know you clicked on this video because you want to know how to get one in your game. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to do exactly that without even touching a single script. <laughs> In the description of this video, you will find a link to my Discord server. In the video resources channel, you will find all of the links and YouTube videos of my models. Obviously, as I'm recording this video, the model is not out yet on here, but it will just be in a thread like this with a link that actually has the model. Once you've actually gotten to the model page, all you have to do is press the get button that should be somewhere around here, and you should now have the model. Now that the model is actually in our Roblox inventory, it should show up inside of the toolbox in the My Model section. So all you have to do is actually click it and hit OK on this pop-up, and you should see that it does show up in our workspace here. So if we actually open this up, you will see that there is a Read Me script. You can actually just go ahead and delete this because we don't actually need it. And then you will see that there is a group here. Uh, called starter GUI. So literally all you have to do is put it in starter GUI and ungroup it. Now it technically will work like this. However, there's a lot of customization that we want to add to it to make it actually for our game. So we can just go ahead and open it up just like this. And inside of it, you will see some options that we have to actually make this our own. So if we toggle the visible uh, property under the game title, we can actually change what the title shows in the main menu. So I'm just going to write something like test simulator obviously this would be your actual game name and then after doing that we can just simply toggle the visible again and then we have a credit section here uh if i can open that up and you would obviously type okay well this is the news section but obviously just like the credit section you can type whatever you want game news uh patch notes whatever so we can actually toggle that again and then over the credits we can do the same thing so uh, this would obviously be your dev team or yourself, depending on whatever you have. So I'm just going to put myself obviously. And then just like the other ones, we can turn the visibility off. And now that's pretty much it. We can actually just use it just like this. So once we actually get in the game here, you see it starts off with a black screen. And then once it loads up, you can see our main menu. Now we can't actually move or look around until we actually press play just like a real main menu. So these buttons, they do also have these nice effects to them. And when you click them, you can see our game news that we added, our credits that we added. And then of course the play button uh, with this nice effect again, that puts us in the game and gives us our walking ability back and everything like that. If you did find this video useful, do be sure to go down there and like the video and subscribe for more Roblox Studio content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.